Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco Global Survival Multiplayer, playing with my viewers, another episode of my Let's Play. So, as you can see, off camera, I cleared out some space around my smelting setup, because we are getting our, my, whatever, next skill in 9 hours, 20 minutes. That will be this evening. Um, I'm planning to be take advanced smelting. Uh, I don't have the research book yet. I need a bunch of iron bars and copper bars for that. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get rid of all this equipment and replace it with the better stuff, right? The blast furnace, the screening machine, and the stamp mill, I think it's called. So I got some extra space for that, and I'll need it. Uh, it'll still probably be pretty cramped in here, and because eventually I want a second blast furnace. So I'll make space for that eventually. Um, originally, I wanted to get my underground storage set up first before i did all this with the smelting but i just want the blast furnace it's so much better than the uh than the bloomery so here's our underground storage area we got 12 by 12 area um, for a large lumber stockpile but it needs to be 11 high and this is only six high so we got to dig down five you can see i started digging down so that's where we're at on that we will get that done today uh, we also need to uh, get to the get our mine shaft all the way to the copper mine. So we go down there, I have a mine shaft that comes out here. The phantom helped me build. It get, it goes to about here. We need it to get to about here to hit the copper and gold mine. Um, so yeah, so let's go spend some money on this smelting equipment and a little something else we're gonna grab too. So while we're going, let's just grab this coal I'm sure most people watching at home realize why I'm buying coal or taking coal with me. And if you don't, that's cool. You're about to find out. Not a big spoiler. I'm buying a truck. And I need coal to power the truck. Right? Is the plan. Well, I might not be able to hold it though. I might not have the weight. Trucks are heavy. Yeah, there's one way to find out. Which one of these is his tools? There we go. Steam car. Yeah, I can't carry it. It's too heavy. All right. I'm going to throw a stockpile down. And put the coal in it. It's food. Food is heavy for whatever reason. Like these salads are what's weighing me down, ironically. Coal doesn't actually weigh anything. We can carry the coal. It's just we can't carry salads, apparently. This game is weird. Like, you can carry, like... Like, a salad is more... Is heavier than a windmill. Oh, my God. He has a lot of windmills. Does he need that many windmills? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of windmills. All right. We got a truck. There we go. All right. Now we're riding style. Now we're talking. All right, let's grab our food. <laughs> Stupid salads, too heavy. Salads are too heavy. Pick up our stockpile and let's, uh, oh, accidentally pick up coal. <laughs> let's go visit Encrypted Shadow Store and get their smelting thing stuff. I think he has everything I need. I'll probably need a windmill too now that I think about it. You know what else I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to widen my mine. Like I can fit a truck down there, but it's going to be just barely, right? All right, so we need a windmill. We need a stamp mill, a blast furnace, mechanical water pump, and a screening machine. Whew. We are not rich anymore. <laughs> we were rich. We are not anymore. But that's fine. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's see about getting this all set up. I'm uh, gonna take down the old stuff here. Ooh, can I even get my truck back here? Yeah, I need to. <laughs> my base isn't really truck size a bull right now. So I'm just going to throw that there for now. All right, so I'm going to pick this stuff up, and uh, I'll be back with the new smelting area. Looking forward to it. All right, so I got my new smelting setup done. Um, so we're going to start at the top here. So I added the windmill. I added the second water wheel. 
for some reason it won't let me i can't put it down so it's only getting 200 power instead of 400 like the other one is i'm sure i could probably play with it and eventually get the uh 400 power out of it but it's fine the windmill's giving me 220 i think yeah so as long as it's giving me 200 because i need 800 power um 200 of it is for this water pump so it's pulling water up sending it down to my blast furnace and it's, we will come take a look at here there's the blast furnace water coming down i don't have my output pipe hooked up yet it's here there's really no point sewage comes out um eventually you can get a, a waste filter to deal with that but until i get that there's no point in running the pipe up um the problem is these machines i originally had them like here and here but they didn't get power there they weren't close enough to the grid so i can get power here and it's fine but the problem is um they're not close enough for the large stockpile up there the, all they get is this little stockpile on the roof right here is the only one they can reach which i mean i can work around that at this point but same for this machine uh, it has power steam truck and this r workshop roof right now i could like throw a stockpile like here if i need it i might have to move that obviously so i can get access can i get through here yeah i guess i can get through here anyway so i got some hoops to jump through but once i get my stockpile down the basement it won't be a problem anymore right it's just a it's just gonna be a temporary problem until until i get that dealt with right so that's obviously my priority today or one of them and also i hit smelting level five so now i can do advanced upgrade threes so we got one of those cooking up there now um so let's uh, actually grab that put you right in here so there we go 40 percent instead of 25 that's a big deal that that matters that adds up so we need nails okay we got some nails queued up so let's queue up three more of these i need how many i need six no i need five total Kiln, anvil, glass furnace, um, screening machine, and stamp mill, right? And then obviously we'll queue some up for everybody else. But right now, <laughs> um, right now I need my iron because I need 200 iron bars for this, uh, this advanced smelting research, right? Because I need 20 of this book right here, Metallurgy Advanced. It's 10 bars each, so it's 200 bars and 100 copper bars. So, yeah. So we know what I know what I need to do today. I need to get some iron going. I need to get my storage dug out, and I need to hit the copper mine. In that order, probably. Yeah. Now, can we even get the truck down here? <laughs> I'm sure I can, but how many hoops do I got to jump through? Huh? So, yeah, I'm, I am going to widen this, but that's more of a future luchara problem <laughs> i have bigger fish to fry so i'm gonna see if i can fry up some fish i'll be back all right so i'm finally uh caught up or i finally have a bunch of iron bars i guess what i'm trying to say i have over 200 so i got enough to do the research i got some pipes in stock i got some nails in stock everything is good on the iron front thank you very much mr blast furnace uh you were definitely responsible for that uh, so now I'm focusing on getting my uh, stockpile area dug out down here. We're making good progress. We're not there yet. But let's just come down and take a little peek here at what we're looking at. So yeah, we're uh, probably three quarters of the way of the whole thing done, I would say, at the very least. So how many did we go? One, two, three, four. So yeah, so we got to keep pushing, keep pushing right to here. And then be able to drop the giant stockpile in here. And that should alleviate all the issues we've been having with storage. Um, and then I can I do have a lot of tailings around right now. But I also have a lot of like granite and sandstone and limestone just out and about in the world. Slag up there. I can crush that up now. All, all these stockpiles everywhere. So once we get our... Uh, storage under control will start taking this stuff in crush it up use it for probably glass maybe maybe sell it to the road builders or give it to the road builders for you know a really good deal is the plan uh, we do live right next to a road builder which is nice so yeah so that's where we're at right now um 
going to finish the underground stockpile, then get to copper, then advance smelting, and then uh, we'll go from there. I still need to finish the interior redesign of my house. I did some of it. I don't know if I showed this in the video. I, got a, I bought a couple pieces of furniture yesterday, too. But yeah, so I need to work on that. I should probably try to make my house into brick. Flash glass, like tier 2 materials, too, as well. The workshop is fine. I will need a tier three workshop once I get into oil drilling, but that's, that is not right now. So not a concern. So yes, that's where we're at. I'm going to work on that. I'll be back. It is done. It is finally done. This better be big enough. <laughs> Pretty sure this is enough for this. There we go. Oh, finally. Storage problems are solved. By the way, it's F5, first person, third person. And I would highly recommend third person when trying to drop one of these giant beasts. All right. So now, now I can actually have a little space. Question is, though, can I reach the store from there? That is the question. Let's go find out. I hope so. Maybe, maybe not. I don't need this cart anymore. It's hard to get the truck down there, so I stopped bringing the truck down. I was using the cart instead. It would, be, it would be nice if the store reached it, but if it doesn't, I'm okay with it. Moment of truth. doesn't reach. But that's fine. Let's make sure all the smelting area can reach it. That's the real important thing. Still got to redo my inter interior of my house. There we go. Perfect. Surely if that reaches it, everything else can. Well, what about the workshop, I guess? And moment of truth. Justice. Okay, we're good. Perfect. So that is done. That is off the list. Um. So yeah, so I'm going to move some stuff around here. God, I got to get rid of these tailings. And now it's time to, uh, oh, I got a bunch of crap in here as well. Let's put those in here. Of course, we're going to fill it up <laughs> before it even get a chance to do anything. It's time to go down to the copper mine site. I do not know if Phantom got a chance to work on this. He said he was, it was on his list of things to do, but he was doing a similar thing to me today. He was hauling out his basement for storage. And I know what a big job that can be. So, let's go check here. See if they, he did make progress. It'd be nice if he did, but if he didn't, I can do it. You know, it's fine. So, Felix, they're telling Felix to move closer. Where's Felix at? Yeah, Ron and Nader's way over there. Where's Felix? Down here, probably? Yeah. I mean, it is, it's far, but it's not that far. We can get a road down to them. Because, I mean, somebody could probably take advantage of this desert. Well, I guess Frank's down here. Right? So there's all this iron under here. And we are... Smelting is a little underrepresented. Advanced smelting is definitely underrepresented. I'm going to be the only one. Well, I'm sure somebody will take it eventually. But... I don't know if anybody's planning to take it soon. So it looks like Phantom did not get down here. So time to start digging. We only need to go to about here. So it's not that bad. I'm a mining machine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to work on this. Hopefully come back with good news soon. Oh, my truck. truck's in the way. I'll be back. All right, so I'm working on the uh, tunnel. Out to the copper and gold, making good progress, and all of a sudden I realize I can't dig anymore. And I checked the map, and I made it to the claim <laughs> that Phantom made when he first came out here. So until he logs in, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I mean, I could dig around it, but I think I'm just going to wait for him to log in and either give me access or remove the claim. Probably remove the claim. He's got a stockpile there full of, like, granite. I'm sure he doesn't really care about that. Um, but I don't think I need to rush... For the copper anyway, because, uh, well, for like three different reasons. 
Somebody sold me copper. I assume Namron and Nader because Namron and Nader has a store set up on the road here. Uh, it's not selling anything right now, but it was selling crushed copper. So I bought all the crushed copper. Plus somebody sold me some. Plus I brought my truck out here. There's a tunnel right here. Namron and Nader, I assume, made this road. So I parked my truck right here on the road. And then I just went into the mine and just mined 200 by hand and loaded it onto my truck. Well, I had to have put a stockpile right here, but... I have copper. I think I have enough copper that I don't need to get to the copper mine right this second. But I do need to get this skill book ready because I'm going to have my skill point in a little over an hour. But I think I can have the uh, the advanced smelting skill book by then. So let's go. Let's go make uh, make some copper. Get that skill book. Get advanced smelting ready to go. So yeah, Phantom, please remove that claim if I don't talk to you between now and the time you watch this video. I'm sure I'll talk to you later tonight, though. Anyway, so let's go see how much copper we could make here. Quite a bit, I assume. Between the ore I mined, the ore somebody sold me, and the uh, stuff that uh, Namroninator, uh, the crushed stuff I bought from Namroninator as well. Crushed copper right here. So we can crush... That's 80 crushed, right? So that's 80 crushed there. So we have, oh, well, we can't do copper there. That's only iron here. So we got 80 plus 75. So that's 155. So 155 would be that much, which is 44 concentrate. 44 concentrate gets us how many bars is the question. As long as it gets us 100, that's all that matters. It's going to give us over 100. We're over 100 already. Perfect. So, yeah. So, that should be done by the time uh, by the time my skill points are ready. I should have that well before. All right. So, I'll be back with an update. That will most likely be, uh, be that skill point. Will be the update. Looking forward to it. All right, so I got the skill book for smelting, or advanced smelting, sorry. So I have it. I just don't have my star yet. I'm looking at a big, massive 14 minutes. Um, so I did make this bunch of the skill scrolls. I put them in my shop for free. I made like 40 of them. One of them's gone already. I don't know. I think we have about 40 people on the server. 40 should be enough. But if you're watching this and you haven't come up and got your uh, advanced smelting skill scroll as of yet, come grab it. It's five free claim papers, right? Um, class working. I still got nine of those. Basic engineering. I'm sold out. Oh, I'm sold out to smelting and tailoring. Let's fix that. There's smelting and tailoring. Smelting right there. Smelting, I understand. Tailoring is easy to get on your own. I'm surprised people have been coming up for that one that often. But whatever. I don't care. So yeah, so if you don't have any of these skill scrolls yet, up and grab one they're free it's five plain papers for every one right so take advantage um so i've been busy while that research was going on as you can see there's no longer stockpiles here now we have a nice road got a nice road here as well coming right down to the uh to the mine entrance this will need to be widened probably make some stone ramps instead we don't need this anymore that's because that was just going down to my uh storage right although make them down here and add some more storage no giant ones just maybe a couple uh complimentary uh just normal st stockpiles down here maybe at some point down the road in the future <laughs> so i've also been trying to stock up on things i need for steel which would be iron bars coal and quick lime which is made from limestone so I have quite a bit of those, or well, I don't have quite a bit. I'm making quite a bit of iron bars right now. I don't have a lot right now, but I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of coal. I got a bunch of limestone crushed up already and some more that's scheduled to be crushed. So yeah, because steel, where are you at? Steel bars, yeah. Needs iron, needs quicklime, needs coal. And quicklime just needs, you guessed it, limestone. So we'll be ready to go. Should be good. Like I said, 
11 minutes, 44 seconds. Looking forward to it. All right, so I will be back with that. Probably last update for today will be advanced smeltering goodness. All right, I feel like I had a pretty productive back half of the evening. Well, the most important thing that I managed was, if you look out here, now there's still a bunch of stockpiles full of crap out here, but you will notice there's no tailings anymore. The ground <laughs> still remembers that there was tailings. <laughs> Definitely, but there's no tailings. So we got the tailings away and we uh, we, we started on uh, expanding the mine shaft. I did buy a second blast furnace. It's not hooked up yet. Um, <laughs> still need to output or hook up the output pipe, but until we have, I think you need somebody with industry to make the waste filter. Until we have that, there's no big rush. I don't think. So we got some, uh, well, like this used to be three wide, now it's five wide. We got some stone ramps. It's looking good. Um, all the way down to here. Uh, we never did, uh, Phantom never did come on, so I never did go all the way to the copper. That's fine. I don't, like I said, I got, I got what I needed from the advanced smelting research. That was the big key there. Um, so yeah, so that's done. We'll get the rest of the copper mine done tomorrow or whenever, no rush. So I started with some tailing storage here. These are both full, obviously. And then I, uh, then I kind of got lazy. I just wanted them gone because if you look... Uh, where's pollution? So obviously air pollution, we're the main one because we're a blast furnace, right? That's kind of inevitable. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> I say I'm kind of the main one. I'm like literally the only one. <laughs> uh, but if you look ground pollution, Phantom's got a little bit, but yeah, there's a lot. I mean, this one's from the blast furnace and that's because of the sewage, but this and this is from my tailings, right? So... I was like, that's a bit too much, Slooch. I think it's time to get rid of that. Get those buried. Buried deep. So I did. I buried them. Now, I believe that is deeper. Is it even deeper? Yeah. Because where these are buried, the ground is high. Where these are buried, the ground is low. Right? So, anyway. I'll just show you what I did here. Then pop back up and... Uh, I've been making a lot of steel. I was going to show that. I guess I kind of forgot. I was going to show what was up there. So that's the one we had before. And we got uh, stockpile here, stockpile here, stockpile here. Um, and one here. Just, is it just the four of them? Well, five total. Four new ones. Yeah, and one of them isn't even full. So I'll probably fill this one up. And then the plan going forward is to put them all in the other spot. The deeper, more well-buried spot right um, i may migrate these over to there at some point but that's kind of it's kind of a little bit down on my on my priority list i think tomorrow the big thing will be house and smelting area expansion get that second blast furnace hooked up um do i need an extra jaw crusher i wonder or screening machine maybe screening machine screening machine's pretty slow Takes a lot, like 42 minutes. I mean, to be fair, it's a lot. I don't know, maybe I will. But yeah, I mean, I think I'll hollow out some area back there um, for these. I think they'll still hit the stockpiles that they need to hit. Um, but we need to put them over there to make sure they get power, right? And then we'll slide the blast furnace in right here. Um, like, we'll have basically... I'll see if I can spin it. How can I spin it? So if output is like that. So I want the outputs to meet up. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I can just do it like that. The way it is right now, maybe. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Because we got to split the input pipe to hit both of them. Then the output pipe, when it goes, we'll need to hit both of them. Yeah, so I got quite a bit of steel and stuff queued up here. Uh, I think I got enough coal. Yeah, I got enough coal. And I've already made, what's that, 40, 80, 120, 160. Well, I guess, you know, there's an easier way to do that, Looch. Right here. <laughs> made 167 steel already. Anyway, so I had a productive evening. Got the truck parked there just in case uh, Phantom or anybody wants to come down and hit the copper mine. Don't want my truck to be in the way. 
And uh, yeah, that's a good day of eco. Uh, if you want to join the server, uh, my Discord, link's in the description down below. You join the Discord, get the information there. And uh, yeah, we got a good bunch. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun this run. Um, I had a plan going in with what uh, jobs I wanted. I know the last run I didn't, and I didn't have that much as much fun this time or last time. I'm having more fun this time. Anyway, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, join the Discord. As I said, most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.